Welcome to the Jenkins tutorial. I am Razvan and in this tutorial we will discover what is Jenkins and how does the master slave architecture work. Jenkins is an open source automation tool built for continuous integration purposes. It's used to build and test your project continuously, making it easier for developers to integrate changes into the project. It's useful for testing purposes as well, because it provides the option to integrate and automatically execute the test based on your configuration. It can be triggered by setting a certain frequency using hooks or whenever the code is being pushed into the Git repository and so on. It has lots of nice features like providing the capability to generate a report with test results or even send it to you via email. As a general overview of the master-slave architecture, I created a diagram based on how I think the architecture should look like. This approach is recommended mainly when you have lots of jobs running on different environments. Having more slaves, aka nodes, represent a significant improvement in terms of parallel execution. The overall image implies the Jenkins master being the server that will be responsible for pulling the code from the repository, scheduling build jobs and also for assigning the workload to the slaves, communicating via TCP IP protocol. A slave is a Java executable that runs on a remote machine used to execute the job given by the master. The slave can operate on a variety of operating systems like Windows, Linux and so on. Jenkins can handle more than 100 machines, distributing the workload to them automatically. Notice that there are lots of options that we could use to create slaves. For example, it can be the local machine, a docker container, a physical machine, a virtual machine, or we can create the node even in cloud, for example using an AWS EC2 instance. We can configure a project to run only on a specific slave, or we let the master assign the job to the next available slave. The slaves can be handled using specific labels that can be used in the jobs. For example, we can run a job only on assigned slaves. If the job is idle, then we can disconnect the slave too. It will help minimizing the cost on demand usage.